Last night, you and I talked Friday. Hey, if you had one to lose, Friday would be the one you want to lose. Stani, that was a gut punch last night. And now the Warriors sit a half game out from being involved in that mess that is the playing game. But I got two things. Okay. If you ever tell me Steph Curry doesn't get a whistle, I'll walk out of here. Okay, see ya. He got fouled see ya. twice. They tried to foul the man twice, and they still couldn't get a call. Okay, why did the chef pass it? Why were you going Speedy Gonzalez when you could have just stopped and let them foul you? Then Draymond, you get the ball. Who were you passing it to? And better yet, why? Anderson made a great play, but the gangsterest play I think I've seen this NBA season is the trailing Carl Anthony Towns takes a three down one and drains it. And then JP turns it over to Clay and he gets the blame. It's a cold to world. Steph. Oh, I thought that was the Clay. No, I think it was the Steph. Because Steph. Oh, okay. Damn, here, I, you, saw it, it, I thought that was the Clay. No. It was uh, so Draymond Green got lazy at the wrong time. Damn, threw a very he did. He threw a lazy pass. Threw a lazy pass with twelve seconds left. I mean, what? How else can you put it? I hadn't heard that he one. Okay. And Curry's dribbling over to the left. Conley tried to get him. Curry said after the game that he thought he might have gotten hit that first time. But listen, the one thing I've seen Minnesota do a bunch this year. They're good at it. They know. But Go for the steal okay. for the first yeah. 10 seconds, and then we look to foul. So even when they're looking to the, looking to steal, they're very aggressive. And then they got Curry into the, like the lane area, and I think he was worried he was going to get double teamed and turn it over, and that's why he kicked it back out to Draymond. They, wow. were, just, they were just looking to run cl as much clock as they could right there. Um, and then Draymond got lazy with the pass. And then Anderson. You know, Jordan Poole on the last possession, Curry started to cut. Stopped and Poole didn't realize he stopped and threw it out of bounds. And um, man, oh man, the, the interesting thing there. Look, Poole's going to get the turnover. Poole gets the turnover there. There's no doubt about it. And the brunt. That's from the, the way, uh, right? But if you'll notice, Steph Curry goes, pats his chest three times because he's saying, "I should have kept cutting. I should have yeah. kept cutting." And I don't know what the Warriors' rules are on that. And I don't know if they have rules on that. But a lot of times, teams say, once you start a backdoor cut, just keep going. Yeah. Just keep going. He pulled up. Um, but there was obviously a miscommunication. And uh, it cost the Warriors. It, Curry, it absolutely cost quietly, them. Quietly, Snotty, I don't know if you knew this to your naked eyes, but 30% from three the last five games. I have not noticed that until Fitz brought it up on the telecast. But more so... Him and Clay were 13 of 40 last night. You're not in that game if it's not for Jordan Poole. And I don't want to come in here because I told you and the listeners, it's a team game. Everybody's going to do a different role or play a different role every game. But I'm sorry, Friday night, I keep going back to that. Jordan Poole saved the dubs to me. And last night, nine trips to the free throw line, eight of nine. Was he perfect? No. Now he caught the pass from Clay, hit that clutch corner three, did his little version of the shimmy. I was like, it might be a little too soon. But please, people, quit blaming one specific person as the Warriors lose a game. That was a gut, Stiney. I don't, that was the worst loss of the season. Night, night, Utah. Remember the Utah game early on when Poole lost it? Yeah. Uh, Poole lose the ball, they go down the score. Forget that one. This is the one. And then let me tell you a secret. You yeah. got a athletic Willie Green coached Pelican teams with they're coming. They're here tomorrow. That hurt. We're not talking about the Pelicans. Yeah, I know, but that hurt, man. That hurt. Uh, Poole did take an awful shot. We got to get to this. With about 38 seconds left. That was terrible. So Poole took a terrible shot. Steph couldn't make a shot. <sighs> Clay. He was off. But why do you why, why did you do the pregnant pause? I mean, 
He was 5 of 17. He hit a three to put you up. So that's all he's got to do is hit no, a shot. No, it's about. He was 5 for 17. Okay, good. but the one he good. hit. So what? He was 5 See, for 17. 5 for 17. Come on, Mal. And it, it, this is the this is what's going I, this is what's going on with the Warriors. When Steph and Clay are just a little bit less efficient, they're in big trouble. Because their yeah. defense has slipped a little bit. I'm talking about the teams. Yeah. And this is where you do pay the price, Clay and Steph, for not getting to the line. Because the way you make up for going nine for twenty two is at least go 8 for 9 from the line. The problem is, is Steph was what? 8 for 20? 8 for 23? Yes, sir. 8 for 23. 4 of 13 from deep. So 13 of 23 yeah. shots are threes. Okay. And Clay goes 5 for 17. 11 of 17. 11 of 17. So let's do the math Damn, here. Damn, I, I already I know where you're going, man. So the, the bottom line is... They took 24 three-pointers between them. And two free-throw attempts between them. Curry had a goose egg at the free-throw line. Clay got to the line? Two times. Oh, good. Yeah. So how can you how can you get it how can you get it done if you're not getting to the line? Well, I'm sorry, Stani. I need I need my bifocals. That was loony. Clay nor Steph got to the line last night. I didn't think so, but I didn't wow. want to I didn't want to say you were wrong. You oh. do it all the time. Well, but I, and I, we got I would, it built into I the show. Only, I was only 99% yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, well. Anyway, so you get two guys who are taking 20. They took 40 shots wow, between them. Man. They took 24 threes between them, and neither of them took a foul shot. I mean, come on. Yeah. Come on, guys. And I'm not saying guys the officials. I'm saying, come on. You, I mean, why don't the rules, in a way, apply to Steph and Clay? When you're not making shots, try to get to the rim. No, I'm, I'm listening. Curry, um, what, we forgot the layup. The Curry missed, and he had pull in the corner, and Clay was trailing. The chef, Ste- Steiny, he looked. He just came back from injury, and all we kept saying, I know I was, this dude's not skipping the beat because he just he was just incredible. But Steiny, he missed a cinnamon, a bunny layup last night, and that's not getting talked about enough. And I was like, man, maybe he could have shot it out to pull, but you are Steph Curry, Wardell Curry, so I'm okay with the layup, but he missed that. And I'm just wondering if his te- legs are a little tired. 